Hello friends, this is going to be a video on the climate of Pakistan which is the second chapter in your book The Environment of Pakistan by Humana Sethi. Now this is a requested video. So Fasi Raza, beta, I hope you are watching and this is of some help to you. I will not be doing the entire chapter in this video otherwise the video would be very long uh, but the rest of the topics will be covered in the other videos. Now what actually is climate? Climate is a generalization of the day-to-day -day weather conditions over a long period of time, usually 30 years. Now the climate of Pakistan is going to be very very interesting because uh, as we all know Pakistan is comprised of six topographical regions and climate is uh, you know uh, directly proportional to the terrain that is um, uh, as the terrain is so will be the climate so since the terrain in Pakistan is uh, very different and very varied the climate that we experience from north to south is also very different. So now let's quickly look at you know the differences between weather and climate. Weather is the atmospheric condition of a place for a short period of time, very very short period of time that is you know daily. How is the weather today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy? It may include just one condition of the atmosphere like I just discussed. But on the other hand, climate, it's the generalization of the day-to-day -day weather conditions and approximately 30 years. And it may include all the atmospheric conditions, that is temperature, how is the temperature of that particular region, how humid is that region, what is precipitation levels, precipitation here means rainfall, wind, cloud, etc. Now, what are climatic factors? Factors that bring about change in a region's climate. Now, this could include temperature, as we earlier discussed, precipitation, air pressure, wind, etc. Climate is very closely associated with topography, since Pakistan is a you know very rich topographical area. So, therefore, the Pakistan experiences varied climates. Okay, now climatic zones. Pakistan is divided into four climatic zones. What are they? It's the highland climate, it's the lowland climate, the coastal climate, and the arid climate. Now, let's quickly look at each one in detail. Now, if we look at the highland climate, where is the highland climate found? Now, looking at this figure A, where is A? This is the portion A. Okay, so it's found where in the north where there are the northern mountains, the northwestern mountains and the western mountains here. Where is the lowland climate found? The lowland climate is found here, that is the Indus Plain region. And where is the coastal climate found? The coastal climate found is found in this region, that is sea, where our coastal areas lie, Karachi, Makran coast and you know till the run of Kutch. Then where is the arid climate? Arid means dry climate found where there are deserts. Where are the deserts? Here in the southwestern part and the southeastern part of Pakistan. And this, this map is very important and uh, it comes in the exam. So you have to remember the areas where you know uh, these uh, climatic uh, zones are look found. Now highland climate. What is highland climate? Now, as I earlier discussed, it includes the north, northwestern parts and uh, the western highlands. The winters here are very long, cold and snowy because, you know, climate is directly proportional to terrain, like I earlier mentioned. So, you see the terrain here is how? It's very, it's high. There are mountains found here. So, as we move towards the north or, uh, you know, as you move upwards, uh, you know, what happens? It becomes cooler, cold. The summers here are short and mild. Precipitation is associated with altitude. That too, that is rainfall is also associated with al altitude. Higher the altitude, higher would be the rates of precipitation. Now, the in the western mountains, um, uh, it rains about 1000 to 2000 meters approximately. And in the northern mountains, it rains about 2000 to 8000 meters 
approximately now see northern mountains are higher in altitude compared to the western mountains therefore more rain there now gilgit and chitral though in the north they fall uh, uh, in uh, you know uh, they experience low rainfall now why is that a question is asked usually in the exam so this point is really important and that is because they lie in the rain shadow areas i'll be discussing what the rain shadow areas are in a little while now the temperature first we discussed precipitation now let's move on to temperature of uh, this climate uh, in this climate or in the highland climate you know the temperature varies from north to south depending upon the altitude meaning towards the north it will be cooler towards the south less cool or uh, warmer in north the summers are short mild and wet and in the west the, there are dry and warm so these are certain uh, points that you need to remember now talking about the rain shadow areas what are the rain shadow areas dry area on the leeward side of the mountain that is that side of the mountain which is opposite to the prevailing winds or which do not face the winds now the winds for example if they are coming from this side so they are moisture laden winds because they are coming from the side of the sea or the water body so they carry a lot of moisture and this part of the mo uh, uh, mountain which exp you know which uh, gets hit by these uh, the winds first experiences or receives a lot of rain because um, uh, the the uh, air at that time or the winds at that time are full full of moisture but as it moves towards this side you know they become dry losing all its all of its moisture and therefore they give very little or no rainfall to the areas lying in the rain shadow region gilgit and chitral because they lie in this rain shadow region they do not receive lot of rain uh, although they are in the northern part of pakistan so i hope this is clear now let's move on to the lowland climate lowland climate includes the whole of the indus plain except the coastal areas here the climate is arid and extreme there are hot summers and cool winters now keep this in mind you know if you have visited punjab you must have experienced how hot the summers are and how cool the winters are the temperatures there are extreme whereas if we talk about karachi uh in karachi uh, the temperature is moderate the summers are hot but not as hot as they are in punjab the winters are cool but not as cool as they are in punjab so you know you can differentiate and study this way the summer monsoons summer monsoons bring a lot of rain in uh, the whole of the indus plain the rainfall differs from north to south according to altitude uh, then the north hill the foothills of the northern mountains and the potwa plateau they receive abundant rainfall and why do they receive abundant rainfall they receive abundant rainfall from from western depressions western depressions are winds coming from the western side and uh, they cross afghanistan and iran so the rain, the winds that come to, towards uh, pakistan from that uh, area are called as western depressions and these winds bring abundant rainfall in the potwa plateau and the northern mountains so again a question is asked about uh, you know uh, from where is potwa plateau and some parts of northern mountains receive abundant rainfall so it's from the western depressions you need to keep this point in your mind uh another point thunderstorms yes this land also experiences thunderstorms from the north in the north uh, in in the north and the northwest in this plain uh, thunderstorms are uh, occur, occur now lower in this plain in the lower in this plain the temperature is very high and there is less rainfall that is rainfall starts to decrease as you move from north to south so this is about lowland climate now coastal climate coastal climate includes the whole of the southern coastal strip including the indus delta karachi the whole of the makran coast sea breezes dominate maritime influence keeps the daily temperature low now what are sea breezes what are land breezes i have discussed this in a video and i'll be mentioning the link to that video in the description box so you might you may go there and check and maritime influence i have made a separate video on that as well <clears throat> so uh, i'll not be explaining in detail maritime influence here <clears throat> sorry the humidity levels are also very high here in karachi if you live in karachi you, you might have experience that the summers here are not just hot but they are very you know uh, sticky you feel very sticky and 
<clears throat> you know it's it's not dry as in punjab so that's because of the humidity level what is humidity it is the uh, it is the water vapor in the air what the water vapor present in the air here is, in, that is in the coastal areas is very high because they have nearer to the sea that is why humidity levels are very high in the areas lying in the coastal belt may june and october are the hottest months and people living in the coastal climate we already know this the rainfall here is scanty throughout the year this time it was not scanty because of you know some unexpected uh, you know uh, 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 climatic conditions the karachi till the run of kach kach gets rain from the monsoons and makran coast gets rains in only in the winters okay Now let's look at what the maritime influence is. I've discussed that in detail, but maritime influence is actually the influence that the sea body has on the land, and because of uh, you know being uh, closely um, connected to a sea body, the coastal areas have a very moderate climate. The the climate that they experience is not very extreme. Their winters and their summers are also very moderate, bearable. that's because of the sea the sea kind of um, you know normalizes or you know it uh, 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 balances the temperature of the uh, land how that happens you know you can check that video that i posted earlier no arid climate now in the southeastern desert in the southwestern part of baluchistan arid climate uh can be experienced now what is arid climate it's dry and hot because of the desert you know it's easier to remember like that keep in mind arid means dry so you know in the deserts are the areas where uh, you can experience this sort of a dry climate and what is this climate it's dry it's hot and what happens in these regions hot and dusty winds prevail there's a scanty rainfall in the winters in, and in the western balochistan the southeastern desert um a rain uh, uh you know rain summer monsoons but very scant you know the southeastern deserts experience rain from the summer monsoons but that is also very scanty now and uh, the temperature there is very extreme and it's very dry and it's dominated by dust storms so with this we conclude this is the end of uh, you know today's um, discussion what we discussed let's do a quick uh, revision we discussed the differences between uh, weather and climate and then we dealt with climatic factors and then climatic zones highland lowland coastal arid the differences and important this map is extremely extremely important uh, you know you might you might get areas you know demarcated like that in your exams and you'd be asked you know to, uh, to identify which climate is found in which region so you have to remember it really well then uh, you know what is highland climate where is it found how is the precipitation there what is the temperature there and then uh, you know this was part of it then lowland climate what is lowland climate again the areas it's found and what happens in such regions then the coastal climate the same thing do remember the maritime influence and the sea breezes also you know uh, and the arid climate i hope this video was of some help to you and the rest of the topics of this chapter will be discussed in the upcoming videos so uh, please keep waiting and if you found this video helpful please share it with your friends and also press the like button and also subscribe thank you so much for watching